Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. And I thank you all very much. I therefore call on the Chairman of the Council 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 of the Needs no introduction in the gathering of whom we will task men. When we were planning our town hall, yes. as an accomplished architect, as we became the plans free of charge. <laughs> and he even donated money on top of that. I am, I am. We are living witnesses. We are living witnesses. <laughs> It is a record that over 20 sons and daughters of Umwebu are studying under scholarship funded to university level by the same man. <laughs> Presently, he is contesting for a seat in the House of Senate. Okay. Imagine in far far away Lagos. The, ma the white man says that behind every successful man, there must be a woman. Yes. And Azubike has told me many times that without his beautiful, caring, and understanding wife, he would be nowhere today. Mm. Hey. <laughs> The one and only Igwe Ebuebu, one of whom Ebu, has asked me to invite Azubi Kekeku and the wife to receive their well-deserved title. of chiefs and we unanimously agreed that this illustrious son of Umwebu deserves to be honored. Yes. That goes with the adage which says Ito we are here to give honor to whom honor is due. In special recognition of your various contributions to the progress and development of this community, I, Igwe Buebu of Umwebu, hereby confer on you, Azubike Ekekwe, the chieftaincy title of Osuzo One of Umwebu.
It is an enormous responsibility. Right. Wow. But I promise that I will not relent in setting the pace. What I can Before I sit down, I want to say that it is my utmost desire that every household in Umwebu should have potable water. To that effect, therefore, on behalf of my wife and my children, I hereby make a donation of three million naira. Don't you know my Austin's widow? So what? Did I kill her husband that she come and depend on my wife? Come on, Didi. This is not the time. I want to go before my husband drives me away. Amazing. Okay. Nothing, Auntie. I was only telling your brother to mind how he throws money about. Times are hard, you know. <laughs> hey, oh, oh. So you don't know your husband, eh? See, when we were young, he used to carry his own show of breakfast and, and dash out to his friends and classmates. <laughs> I am not supporting your wife, I didn't think. I'm only saying that Anna Hamwake Penanka, a leopard can never change his course. Hmm? <laughs> Indeed. Yes, you have to learn to bear this. Hmm? That is what women say in life. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Auntie. Mm -hmm. Um, Auntie, mm -hmm. how is that cloth on you? Hey, like, very fine. Very, very fine. If I used to see me in the rapper, hey, I know my co-wives in uh, Ndimu, we came in with Evie when I get back. Dalo. They haven't seen nothing yet. Uh -huh. Next time I come, I'll bring you the best Hollandese. Hey, you. Yeah, kid, you want to go? Yeah! Oh, yeah, can you go? Hey, you go again, no, no. Of all these foolish women married my kindred, you are the only one that knows the word of a sister-in-law. God will bless you for me. <laughs> Papa, hmm? I'm not too satisfied with the pace of work at the site. You know, I thought that to celebrate this coronation at the new house. But I don't know, this year contract or that your best is. Uh, I don't know, how has it been going on with the, with the work? This is the Eze. He's a hard-working man. Often I go there and stay with him till midnight. He's trying and trying very much. But I think the problem is with <laughs> those his workers. <laughs> well, I, I just have to... As you hear my brother, what of the problem I told you about? Oh. Not you want to kill me, but God in heaven will not allow me. What problem? My poetry. Those chicken want to scrape my hair. Bridget, cho, 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 all the time. I'm discussing something important with your brother. Now nah, you saying my my poetry is not important. Daddy, Daddy, isn't he refused to wash my clothes? Go on, go on. You know, isn't he refused to wash his clothes? When I was like, I used to wash it, I did this dress. And I didn't them out like that. Come, come. Don't wash any of these lazy boys' clothes. 
If he can't wash them by himself, let him wear them like that in Lagos tomorrow. Uh, uh, mommy, you should wear Come, pony. Out. Mm -hmm. Like I know. Are you in there? Yeah, yeah. Madam, Fortune, this is not Lagos. There are no dry cleaners here. So just go and wash your clothes quickly so that they can dry by tomorrow morning. Remember, you're going back to school on Monday. Now go. Are you in here? Hmm? I was thinking I, I'm taking you to the farm tomorrow. Eh? So you mean to tell me that you can't even uh, 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 handle a cut last, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you have to go and wash your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. It's all right, thank you. I was on my way back from church. I thought to stop by and say congratulations. I'm sorry I couldn't make the ceremony. I was indisposed. Thank you. My boy. How is Chief, my boss? He's resting now. Why don't you see him in the office tomorrow? Okay, bye. Vivian, sir, are you leaving a word? No, sir. I will go get the card from the car. But I think I forgot it. That's okay. Come Congratulations, on. sir. Thank you. And how was your trip? Oh, very fine. I've already seen Madam. Lolo. <laughs> yes, Lolo. Come in. No, I mean. Just fine, sir. Come on, wait for me. Feel free, sir. So, how did the ceremony go? Ah, uh, well, you can see the pictures, they speak for themselves. It's <laughs> so quite lovely, um, Lolo. He's actually looking radiant. <laughs> man wants peace in his house doesn't mean he's stupid or weak. I want you to realize that. That you're a strong man, Ewa. For 15 years, I have lived with this your behavior. Not because it suits me, but because, because I love you very dearly. Besides, I want peace and harmony to reign in this house. I don't want Na or my sister Bridget or any other person for that matter to think that we're not living peacefully. I have tried very carefully to maintain this, 
hoping that you would change and, and stop all these petty jealousies, but you don't seem to appreciate all my efforts. I mean, what have I done to deserve all this harassment this night? Just because I advised that we should be less extravagant with money. That's why I've become such a nuisance for 15 years. No problem. But you should have told me that I'm useless. You should have told me. Will you keep quiet and listen to me? When we got married, we were a poor church rat. I was a graduate, remember? Nonsense, graduate. My father made you. Now he's no more. I've become a nuisance. Three million naira, it's more than enough to get me that Honda that I've been talking about for months. My boutique and supermarket needs restocking. You don't even think about your children's future. Put that money in a deposit account for Ezine and Fortune. And in 10 years time, do you know how much that will amount to? No. No, you won't think of that at all. You prefer to waste the money for some stupid water project. Barista Kosa, don't you see his wife's new model Lexus? How much have they ever donated? Or Souza? Or Sundamu? All these refrats who keep wasting money paying their school fees. How many of them will remember you in the future? How would they pay you back? You can't bring me down to such selfish level. Since I opened all those businesses for you, have you ever accounted to me? All I keep doing is restocking, restocking and restocking. There is no profit to show for anything. All you do is to acquire jewelries, clothes and, and other irrelevant materials. Yet I don't complain. But when I want to perform a simple... So my basic simple... needs have become irrelevant materials. They have to be gay. But, that, but that, that old girl you have in your office, that mannerless girl you have in your office, call your secretary, drives two cars. And it's not irrelevant. Eh? What? What, what, is just, what is wrong with you? Why can't you ever reason better than this? Yes. <laughs> I know I'm a dumbass. But she must leave. Hmm? She's taking too much these days. Haven't you tried for her? What's the matter with you? What, what, what has my secretary done now? <laughs> you don't know. How would you know? Hmm? How would you know? When she knows you better than I do. Hmm. Now listen, Didi. You know how choked up my program is. My business, the elections and going from one party meeting to another, I want peace and harmony in this house. I want peace in my office to be able to win these elections. I don't need these bickerings from you. I need your encouragement and support. That's all I ask from you. Well, you get my support all right. But that girl will leave. Let her go and look for her own husband. Instead of depending on my own forever. I got man and a mini. I will not stay and let somebody else take my husband. Nanya. You know what I'm doing? It's called Lala. <laughs> that means queen. I was a queen of that day. Uh, <laughs> you mean like uh, Elijah day? Precisely. Even more than that. Uh, See how I was stepping out that day. Hey! Check me out. Okay. Dengue. 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 My best. Hey! <laughs> <all around me. laughs> Hey. hey, do you know my husband's title? What do you? Or Susan Wa of Umwebu. Wait in there, that's what I mean. Now. I mean, the pace setter. One that clears the path for others. Hey, <laughs> 55 now, Remy. Eh? That means I 
as your husband they clear the road they go. You they drive the pipe finder for the road too. Kemi, eh? Kemi. <laughs> you haven't had a real juice yet. Pastor, what do you mean? Trust me. Father Christmas. Uh -uh. He donated three million naira to his village. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah. Three king. Three million naira for water project. Hey! How long will you marry, Baba? What? I don't understand your people at times. So. Hmm. If my husband has three million naira to dash out, then all my problems are finished. Yes, Ke! He will first of all start from my body. Copium. Good. Hey! <laughs> then my motto must be changed. Even if I declare oh, one day, every weekend, whoa, till a million naira cannot finish. Koti, it was said. That's hey. not even my problem. Hey. Hmm. My problem is the way people have been chasing and pursuing my husband right from the village to Lagos here. Uh -uh. All these women with their problems. Uh -uh. He even gave 500,000 naira to some stupid village youth wing people. Hey! Trust my husband now. Everybody's welcome. Irony. Everybody's welcome to my house. Irony. Fear all those women. Who fear them. You will think they are coming for help. But before you know it, what you walk They've taken your husband. Are you telling me? What? Are you telling me? Mm -hmm. Last Sunday, the stupid secretary came to my house to say, Congrats. You mean your house? Imagine. I shunned her one time. Correct. Correct, Oremi. Hey! Well, secretaries are dangerous people. I'm talking from experience, though. Mm -hmm. That was my job now, before I got married to my first husband. You know now. Hey! It always starts with, I'm sorry, darling. I will be working late tonight. Oh, sorry. I'm in the middle of a crucial meeting. You will also, on top of the secretary, you know, Hey! Hey, I want to Hey, Butaro. Um, but uh, on a more serious note, okay. this is the time to hold your husband firmly. Choba, now he has joined uh, politics, and with that kind of uh, stomach secretary he has, <laughs> you must buckle up. Choba, you must monitor, confront, and if possible, fight for what is yours. Otherwise, hmm, what is sort of meal? What is sort of You're right. Mm. I think I like that idea better. <laughs> that I like good. it better. Right. Hold on. Yes? Oh, send him in. <laughs> the that? Londoner is back. If I came with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Chief, Chief, Chief of Timber and Cali. <laughs> Chief of Timber. How are you all? You're welcome. You Thank went you. to London and refused to come back. Oh, my brother. <laughs> Nigeria got too hot for comfort. <laughs> Uh, well, thank God now things are getting better. Oh, yeah. So it's back to base. Mm, yes, <laughs> east yeah. or west home is the best. That's the honorable senator speaking. <laughs> Wait a minute. So you know about it. Why do you think I'm here? Look, I had it in London and I said yes. Interesting. Our club member this time around. Interesting. <laughs> I have started my campaign already. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that the erstwhile presido of our Achievers Club must represent this zone at the Senate this time around. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sit down, sit down. Right, right down. Right. <laughs> uh, who, who, who else is running? Um, you know, we have to go through the party primaries first. Mm -hmm. But for now, the only opposition within the party is from Chief, uh, Chief Gab Coca. Coca? Very wrong. Coca is no force to reckon with. Chief Akimumi. <laughs> I have told him that the Senate is not a place for noisemakers. Benny! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your confidence in me. Every time I speak with you guys, I, I get reassured. My confidence is highly boosted. That's no problem. But I must tell you, as close friends and party members, one thing still bothers me, this non-indigenous stuff. Forget that. Oh. Just forget that. Ha! Uh, am I not an indigenous? Wait a minute, you back huh? I have equally told him that Lagosians are too politically mature for all that sentiment. Yes. What they're looking at for is an achiever. 
Benny. I'm not an indolent son of the shine. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look, my dear, I am personally interested in your candidacy. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> I have a master plan that will ensure your victory, both at the primaries and at the general election. Oh, yeah, great, yeah! Great, great, great. PhD, political science is no joke. Oh. It's not a joke at all! You're a joke! You're a joke! Darling. Yes, darling. I called your office and they said you had gone. Oh, I had some cooking to do. I'm sorry, darling. It appears I'm going to be late tonight. Today again? For what? I'm having a party meeting with some party stalwarts and some club members after office hours. Meaning they won't attend the party again? Party? Yes, no. I told you Kemi, my friend, is having a birthday get-together by 8 p.m. tonight. So you have forgotten, eh? <laughs> Not at all. You know, it depends on the outcome of this meeting. Why don't you call me back saying in about hours, hour, an hour's time, then I can confirm to you if I can still make the meeting. I'm sorry, darling. I love you. And I hope you're not about to go home. I am about to, sir. I'm sorry you're not closing yet. I'm having a meeting in the next 30 minutes, and I need you to stay back. Okay. I actually do have choir practice tonight. Sorry you're not singing tonight. You're not the choir master, are you? No, sir. Don't worry, your overtime will be taken care of. Thank you, sir. Get me a chief Ben of on the line. Will do. Expect my joy limited. You're supposed to have closed for the day. What are you still doing there? Who is this? Answer my question first. Why are you still hanging around there? What kind of stupid joke is this? <laughs> I know what you can do. Thank you. Thank you. The great political scientist. <laughs> trust you. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Um, if we thoroughly examine 
the strategies as specified in this document with a view of implementing them, I don't have any doubt that uh, Chief Azubike Kekwe will emerge as the consensus candidate of this our party. <laughs> uh, Gentlemen and uh, my humble self, um, let me point this out before we proceed. From what I see here, I think uh, the women's angle is not properly addressed. I know, lady. Shannon, you are correct. Uh -huh. the point is, exactly. And um, I suggest that uh, Mrs. Azubike be brought more into the picture. There's an emergency. Uh, something cropped up regarding your nomination by the party. And uh, Elijah sent some documents for you to look at. That's okay. I can see them tomorrow. No. No, Chief. It's an emergency. 
He said you should sign them now. In fact, now. He said it's an emergency. Okay. Do you have them in the car with you? I'm not the witch now, Chief. I didn't know I was going to see you. But um, they're in my house. And I live just down the road. Why don't you let's drive down so that you can have a look at them? That's okay. Let's go. Okay. But the devil in her will do anything to bring me misery. I don't know why. Like a spread that in a round hole, I feel so out of place. I curse the day I saw her face. There's a time to stand and a time to fall. I had the world in my hand, but now I've lost it all. I don't know, Sharon. I just don't know. Tell me, Sharon, why are women so, so, so devilish, so, so satanic? Honestly, Chief, you are one in a million. Very, very few men will tolerate their wives to that extent. Locking a man out of his own home? I know. That's going to the extreme. Your wife is like that because you tolerate such rubbish. Divorce her and have peace in your life. I mean, what, what, what? No, 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 Sharon. Divorce is completely out of the question. And why? I love her, Sharon. Didi, I love you. Sharon, I love that woman. And my kids, the children, I don't want them to, to... No, Sharon. Divorce is completely out of the question, Sharon. What kind of mad love is that? A woman that will not allow a man, her husband, drink water and let it get down? Ah, oh, God forbid. My husband was becoming overbearing. I filed in for a divorce and I went my way. Mine was not even up to what you are going through now. But my political ambition, any scandal at this stage, and it is bye-bye to my being a senator. You know that. Forget about that, Chief. There are so many aspirants that are not married. There are so many governors that are not married, yet they're still running their office. So, when you win, my dear, we get you a wife. Better still, we rent you a first lady. That is, if you're still interested. I just don't know, Sharon. I, I'm, I'm so confused. Excuse me. I'm happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. Won't you go to the office this morning? I guess I will. Honestly, I like the way I feel. I suspect it's that cigarette. My cigarette? Yes. I think I like it. What's the brand? Oh, it's a special brand. A very special brand. Is that so? Yes. Can I have some more? Ah, uh, no, not, no, 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 maybe later, no? But no. why can't What do you uh, think about a large fatigue emergency request? Let me have the cigarette first, and then I, I, I'll take a decision on that.
I'll soon join you. Please, help me call his office again. Find out what I'm Don't worry. Uh, hello? Hey, that's the Bank Nigerian Limited. Okay. Hey, I am the person that called before. Did he come to the office at all today? Not at all. Okay, okay, ma, worry, my worry. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. He didn't come there at all. Oh, no. oh my god. What am I to do? Hmm? I was only joking. Don't worry. Don't worry. Eh? Don't worry. Five million to restock my boutique and supermarket. I told you my car is old, and you don't seem to listen. Azubiki, if you don't buy me that new Honda, this house will not take you and I. I was only trying to. He was treated. Treated? Chief, the less you know about it, the better for you. Sorry, it won't happen again. I need that cigarette now. Let me have it.
Chief, I'll advise you to stay off this stuff. Tell me, what is this stuff? Hold on. Who is it? It's okay. I'll talk to him. You know he's been having multiple problems. I'll talk to him, okay? All right. Shout out, shout out. Sure. I'll see you. So long. Yeah. He supplied his pop. Chief. Okay. Mm -hmm. You mean this is cocaine I'm having? Just a little quantity of it mixed with secret. Tell me, Sharon, how can someone of my status be associated with hard drugs? <laughs> Chief, I'm surprised that you're ignorant. Cocaine is actually for people of your status. It makes you to operate at an optimum mental alertness. I mean, I can, I can tell you 10 of your friends and colleagues who are on it, but it is bad to get so deep into it. Could be real dangerous. But I can show you safer ways of taking it, as if you're interested. Just to help you out of your wife's problem and your political hazards. But my dear, you have to make a special budget for it. Because it's an expensive habit. Now, eh? eh? It's all right, Mom. No. 
Man is Danny's boy. Tell me how much I worry this time. So, Fati, you want to join your father in maltreating me, eh? Eh, Fati? No, no. I'm sorry, it's just... Dad! How are you? Fine, Dad. Um... Daddy! Yes, what is it? We just came back from school today, Dad. <sighs> sorry, dear. <laughs> My mind is too preoccupied. You know, these primary elections are coming up and then going from one meeting to another. So high school. Fine, Dad. Good. Isn't it? I hope you're doing great at school. Yes, Dad. Okay. Dad, why didn't you visit me as you promised? Sorry, dear. No time. You can see I'm very busy. Well, I have some paperwork to do. I'll see you. What is it? We just came back from school today, Dad. <sighs> Sorry, dear. My mind is too preoccupied. You know, these primary elections are coming up and then going from one meeting to another. So high school. Fine, Dad. Good. Isn't it? I hope you're doing great at school. Yes, Dad. Okay. Dad, why didn't you visit me as you promised? <sighs> Sorry, dear. No time. You can see I'm very busy. Well, I have some paperwork to do. I'll see you.
member of PPP, I have humbly served the party in countless ways. Ah, okay. Okay. With due respect, I want to say that my contributions to this party are unquantifiable. Yes. Fire on. Mr. Chairman, honorable members of the party, PPP deserves a responsible respectable, yes. experienced, yes. solid, <laughs> and trusted candidate yes. to represent it at the general elections and subsequently at the Senate. My like this, that. I am done. Uh -huh. Beep, 
PPP is a winning party Correct. Yes. Yes. Correct. Yes. Correct. PPP is the winning party into Asorok. Yes. But I'm afraid we are about to lose this constituency. Hmm. We need an experienced candidate. Sure. Yes. A political juggernaut. <laughs> we need a man with political valor and transparency. <laughs> Not an experienced drug addict. What? Not an experienced drug trafficker. Not an experienced drug addict. A drug addict that has condescended to the lowest rank of a criminal. Chief Coker, with due respect, I'm afraid you are confusing and misleading this dignified assembly. Yes. Such insinuations can be detrimental to the good image of this great party. Yes! Dr. Otara, with due respect, what I am saying are no insinuations. They are facts, solid facts. That's true. I have my evidence. the pen boys from publishing the name and photograph of your so-called honorable chief Azubike Ikekwe. This is blackmail. I did this for the image and the love I have for this our great party. I rest my case. Mr. This is character assassination. What you can read? To, to disgrace me like this. Eh? Why? I have told you it's all lies. My opponent sponsored that scandal and I'm going to fight back. I told you that. Yes! You will fight back! Oh my God! Hmm? You're strong where I'm concerned. But look at you. A complete failure! When you abandoned me, dear mother, what do you expect? This house is hey, enough! That's enough! Leave me alone! I said leave me alone! What's the matter? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I'm trying to leave me alone! I've had enough of this!
Hello. I'm not on siege. Yes, sir. Are you on appointment? An appointment for. Sorry, it's not on seat. Please, do you know what time you'll come back? Mm. Check back in two hours' time. All right. We may call back in two hours' time, but please tell him to call us. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. What is that? everything so that your books can balance. Like how much, sir? 30,000. Okay, 20, 20,000. I'm afraid we don't have such money, sir. You know, our account has been in red for some time now. Meaning what? Take a look here, sir. Our debit for the year is over 2 million naira already, and we don't have any more meaningful credits. Besides, uh, Ben holding... You mean you can't provide me with just 10,000 naira? Like I said earlier, sir, we don't have such money. Get out! Get out, lousy accountant! for everything. Kenny, what did you just say? I invested more than three million naira in this place. Oh, well, I'm happy because you're my friend though. I cannot afford to see you suffering like this. I don't need these things. I have my own salary. Show more. As it is, can you give me half a million? Kenny, Kenny, please, Kenny. If you're really my friend, then help me. At least, um, make it 300,000. Kini, hey! Oh, seriously, Didi. Where will I get such money? Even this uh, 100,000 I'm giving you is too much. I have to pay you in two or three installments. 
Money is not easy to get these days. And they are obsolete. This is business. last investment so that we can eat and um, darling I um, I made some inquiries uh, at the drug rehabilitation center I'm not a madman you want to rehabilitate so I am now a madman eh? please, please, please understand. Oh, no, 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 understand my concern darling I'm, I'm only concerned about you <laughs> anyway, I thank God for giving me a wonderful wife like you. <laughs> Otherwise, how would I have discovered another blissful world out there? <laughs> what are you talking about? The night you locked me out. That was the night I tasted the forbidden fruit. And I tell you, my dear wife, the fruit is so sweet. <laughs> I now know what that man Adam went through. <laughs> my dear, nothing is worth all the struggle in this life. All the hustling is in vain. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I have since realized all my mistakes. And you know, I've changed a lot. <laughs> oh, God. I never knew. I never knew how all this started. <laughs> so because everything is finished, you have not changed. No more than nagging pretty wife. Well, too late. I have changed too. I am now born again. <laughs> <laughs> Happy and content with the reason I have. Life is so sweet, if you understand it. Azubike, you are addicted to this drug. And our lives have disintegrated. Fortunately, Azubike can't even go to school anymore because we can't pay the school fees. Just think about the people at home.
you are the Osuzo of Moebu. Osuzo. <laughs> Think of all that responsibilities. Those were days when I was still in the world. Azu. Azu, please. Please, 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 these are trying times. And as a born again Christian, this is where you need to get even closer to God. It's time to get closer to your husband. Pamper him back to God. Because if you leave him, it might be worse. Look at me, Pastor. I no longer have. Where are these documents? Where are these documents for God's sake? Before I bring this house down, what's wrong? Did it? Did it? What's wrong? Did it? Did it? Did it? The title deeds of this house, my house, who removed them from my drawer? I, I didn't take any papers, sir. Please calm down. You own me and dictate to me. Did you build this house for me? Did you? Where are the papers? Chi. Eh? Chi. Please calm down. Let's see if we could get the. Shut up, my friend. Jesus. I have told you to stop coming to this house. I don't need your prayers. Anyway, just pray. Pray that she finds those papers. Before I come back to this house, pray. He has sold everything, all our houses. If I give him those papers, he will sell this house and we'll go back to the village. I understand, Sister and Daddy. Don't, don't release those papers to him. Keep them. Pray that God will touch his head and set him free from the bondage. Can this be real? This really happening to me. Oh no, I can't understand it. Remember yesterday how things used to be. Oh no, I try to be true to the woman I love, but she breaks my heart in return. There's a time to stand. Time to fall. I had the world in my hand, but now I've lost it all. Love brings joy, but it brought me pain. There's nothing to live for anymore. There's nothing to live for anymore. I tried my best to give her. Everything that she needs Oh no But the devil in her 
Look, as long as there is life, <laughs> there is hope. <laughs> Don't you think so, Fortune? Yes, Dad. <laughs> Daddy, are you all right? Daddy, are you all right? Daddy, mommy, Daddy, mommy, 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 Oh my god, Daddy! We don't go out! Daddy! I have to be careful, Daddy! 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 Daddy!
You are a thief. How do you want to collect 200 naira just from there to here? That's all they carry. I'm not going to be You know, go fit me like that. This has never come to God before. I will. You can wait. Hello, hello. Wait to be this now. Hey, hello, hello. Okay, go and come back tomorrow. You run. Check out. My bank is showing it. Check out. Amy. I want to show you. And it's a lady. You know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's the matter? What's Auntie, now you're welcome. Whoa, 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 whoa! You go add money, put for my money. Why do you want two hundred naira? I'm not paying my son for it. They waste my time for you. I gave him twenty naira. He said he must collect two hundred naira just from there to here. Oga, how much is your money? Two hundred naira, Lumi. Eh, who na? Isn't even that bad. Hmm. Two hundred naira. Oh, now this one we dey see for taxi for Lagos with that one. So it has come to picking one one combo, eh? Hey! Oga, I beg, eh? Make you manage this one. How much is it? 165 naira. Ah, ah. You know, first cast it. You go go time, all the time I don't wish for you. Oga, I beg, eh? You come with it, make it, eh? Be my man. I'm sorry, you what? What? What work are you doing? I can't look at you. 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 I And nobody ever told me that my brother was drinking dangerous medicine. Son, did you could not manage your husband? You allowed him to be heartbroken. Now you call yourself a woman. Did you should be ashamed of yourself? <laughs> Don't look at my children. I was looking very hopeless. Did you have disappointed me? Did you? You have disappointed me. Hey, Jireke. 
Hortensia. I've been through hell in the past two years. <laughs> I thought I could handle it. I begged him. I even cried for him. I even threatened to take my own life. But as we get what part to God. Oh, it was far too good. There was nothing I could do to save me. Only God knows if my only brother has not gone into a river. Only God knows. Only God knows. I sent a message home because I am tired. Why is this world so wicked? Why? And did you know that all the people that Papa Ezine helped have all abandoned us? As the biggest friends have all run away. I sent a message to the Lagos um, State uh, Branch uh, Chairman of Umwebu Town Union. Do you know? Not a single person. Nobody has bothered to know whether we're living or we're dead. Oh, I have reported to the police. <laughs> Nothing at all. Who may pretend you know? How can they help you? I don't know the of course of Azubike's condition. <laughs> I told Azubike not to take that chick past the title, but he won't listen. Azubike. I want you. Auntie, do you know we don't go to school anymore? <laughs> the children of us who zoom we cannot go to school. And the
Now all of you get out of the house. Sharon. The killer took my brother away. I said, get out! Sharon! Now. Get out! Get Sharon. out! Put that gun away. Put it away now! something in the kitchen for you. Hmm? You have to shave your beard, you know? Well, 
Let me go to the kitchen. Let me not disturb you again. Okay. Hmm? Oh. This one. Oh. Daddy. Let me start the new one. So now, my love, I'm gone. For good or for bad, far gone. But Ndidi, be it known that you and you alone brought my son down. And now, I'm too ashamed to start again. Enjoy the vacuum you have created, you harbinger of sorrow. Azubike Osuzo. Oh. Give me a key. 